Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in our reading, 2 Samuel 16 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And when David was a little past the top of the hill, behold, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him, and a couple of asses saddled, and upon them two hundred loaves of bread, and an hundred bunches of raisins, and an hundred of summer fruits and a bottle of wine and the king said and the king said unto Ziba what meanest thou by these and Ziba said the asses be for the king's household to ride on and the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat and the wine that such as be faint in the wilderness may drink and the king said and where is thy master's son and Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he abideth at Jerusalem. For he said, Today shall the house of Israel restore me the kingdom of my father. And then said the king to Ziba, Behold, thine are all that pertaineth unto Mephibosheth. And Ziba said, I humbly beseech thee that I may find grace in thy sight, my lord, O king. And now King David came to Behurim. Behold, thence came out a man, a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. He came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and at all the servants of King David and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said Shemai, when he cursed, Come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. The Lord hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, Thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Then said Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my, king, my lord, the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. And the king said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zeruiah? So let him curse. Because the Lord hath said unto him, Curse David, who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone, and let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. It may be that the Lord will look on mine affliction, and that the Lord will requite me good for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went by the way, Shemai went along on the hillside over against him, and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him, and cast dust. And the king and all the people that were with him came weary and refreshed themselves there. And Absalom and all the people the men of Israel came to Jerusalem, and Ahithophel with him. And it came to pass, when Ashai, the Arshite, David's friend, was come unto Absalom, that Ashai said unto Absalom, God save the king, God save the king. And Absalom said to Ashai, Is this thy kindness to thy friend? Why wentest thou not with thy friend? And Ashai said unto Absalom, Nay, but whom the Lord and this people and all the men of Israel choose, he will I be, and with him will I abide. And again, and again, whom should I serve? Should I not serve the presence in the presence of his son? As I have served in thy father's presence, so will I be in thy presence. Then said Absalom to Ahithophel, Give counsel among you what we should do. 
And Ahithophel said unto Absalom, Go in unto thy father's concubines, which he hath left, to keep the house, and all Israel shall hear that thou art abhorred to thy father. Then shall the hands of all that are with thee be strong. So they spread Absalom a tent upon the top of the house, and Absalom went in unto his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. And the counsel of Ahithophel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of God. So was the counsel of Ahithophel, both with David and with Absalom. Alright guys. So, this chapter has a lot going on in it. <laughs> this chapter has a lot going on in it. But, something very important to take from this chapter. Very, very important. is the fact that the man was cursing David. The Arshite man was cursing David. But, and pelting David with stones, David and his men. But if you realize, David said unto them, Do not do him any harm. Let him curse. For the Lord deem it for him to curse me. Okay? And let the Lord do as he will. And that, that just goes to show that David is actually a man that loves the Lord. He faltered, of course, but he loves the Lord. And he tries to walk in the way of God. Nobody's perfect. But he tries to walk in the way of the Lord and follow his statutes. And as we see here, nobody's going to be pelted with stones and being cursed at and be like, well, it is the Lord's will. I mean, a lot of times people find it so hard. They're going through their trials and they do not get the answers that they want soon enough. The answers that they're seeking from God soon enough. And just like that, they throw in the towel. And they go about their business and they do as they see fit, forsaking God. And that's why you have so many backsliders. Sorry guys, I'm not throwing shade at you, I'm just saying. That's why there are so many backsliders. Because we are impatient and we don't trust. We say we trust in the Lord, but we don't trust in the Lord. And I mean, I know a lot of people like to sing the song, Trust in the Lord. With all thy night. But we don't really trust in the Lord because we don't trust his process. We don't trust that he knows best. We don't trust that he'll take us out of any situation that we're in. We don't trust that he'll take care of us. And that is the reason why we fear so much. The reason why we feel so burdened by all the struggles of today. And I'm going to advise you to just take a leaf out of David's book right here. If the Lord so deem it for them to curse me, let them curse me. If the Lord so deem it for them to pelt me, let them pelt me. Okay? So long as it is the Lord's will, let it be done. And that's an attitude that we need to culminate as Christians. Okay? So, that's what I'm encouraging you all to do today. Okay? Trust in God. Truly trust in Him and trust in His process. Trust in what He has in store for you. Alright, guys? So, I'm going to leave you right there. Guys, please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted to whenever a new audio video is posted and guys please don't forget to share your thoughts your comments any revelations down below in the comment section and guys please remember my social media handle is down below in the description box so you can always link me up on ig if you have any questions or any concerns okay guys okay so I'm going to leave right there. Please, guys, remember to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. 
there's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.